to all everyone, this is Amanda Rose here. And today I'm going to read some comments from the Drew Plays Situation videos. These comments came from different videos about Drew Plays. Let's get started in the video. The first comment is from Woof, and he or she says, I feel bad for him. The fuck? You literally feel bad for a pedophile, after he was caught grooming a 12-year-old girl. Why would you even feel bad for him in the first place? Don't you see what he did was a crime? This is why you don't trust pedophiles at all, whether they are sorry or not. Drew still committed a crime, so you shouldn't forgive his ass anyways. The next comment is from It's Just Carson, and he says, He also tried manipulating me into believing he was a nice person and would give me Robux to forget about this whole thing and I took the Robux but I knew what he was trying to do. He also put out an apology in his Discord server and I did not believe that. He did what? He basically tried to bribe you into believing his perverted ass. What type of person gives someone Robux to believe his side of the story? Also, you should have not accepted the Robux from him, because that is direct manipulation. I wouldn't even accept Robux from someone who is a pedophile either. The next comment is from Adrian is here 2005, and he says, he's not sorry at all. I know right? He's only sorry, because he got called out for committing a crime. What an immature pussy he is. I wonder, if he's gonna be arrested by the cops for sexually harassing a 12-year-old girl, especially on the Roblox condo game that was not supposed to be on the site. He also admitted in his quote-unquote apology that he sent an explicit photo of himself to a 12-year-old when he was only 18. That is straight-up pedophilia, so I totally agree with you right there. The next comment is from Aram, and he says, I'm still fucking confused of how a 12-year-old girl playing condo games. I am thinking about the same thing, but it's possible that Drew Plays might have forced her to go in the condo game with him or something. Honestly, those condo games shouldn't exist on Roblox anyways, because Roblox is supposed to be a kid-friendly website. The next comment is from Max's Studio. And he says, also in one live stream he was streaming and then people were sending hate to him about the drama, then these mods thinking they are smart to delete his hate comments. Wow, just fucking wow. Looks like his moderators can't accept the truth about group plays. They are just deleting those comments so Drew can avoid backlash from the drama. What immature pussies. The next comment is from Flexplays. And he or she says, stop hating on Drew, he is sorry. Well, 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 we have another immature fan brat of Drew Plays who can't accept the truth about him. Drew is not fucking sorry at all, because he is the one who committed a crime by sexually harassing a 12-year-old and cheating on his 16-year-old girlfriend. Why would you forgive someone after they committed a crime? That's just like saying, oh, Drew already said sorry for murdering 12 people, blah blah blah. Criminals don't deserve forgiveness especially what they did was extremely wrong. The next comment is from ISO, and he or she says, wait so the girl he sent pics was actually 12 and there was another girl that was 16? Yes, he sent nude photos of himself to a 12 year old girl and the 16-year-old girl was his girlfriend. What kind of person cheats in a 16-year-old girl with a 12-year-old? Especially, when he sent a disgusting photo to a minor and it makes me puke. The next comment is from Boogie, and he says, he literally said in the stream, after he got caught that I like making kids feel good inside. What kind of wording is that, after you get called out? Oh my fucking god. Are you serious right now? Did he really say that in his live stream, after he got caught? Now that makes me sick to my fucking stomach. What kind of person tries to cover his own ass up by making that disgusting excuse? So even, when he's streaming, he admitted it. Oh, my, god, I feel like I wanna throw up. 
Let's just move on to the next comment. The next comment is from Eric Place, and he says, Drew should deserve lifetime jail. I honestly agree with you. Drew should be in jail for what he did to a 12-year-old girl. I won't be surprised if he didn't go to jail after the shit he's done, but he needs to be in jail for what he has done. Hopefully the police will put him in handcuffs and throw his ass behind bars. The next comment is from Ladus, and he or she says, Why was she on that game in the first place? You have to be 18 plus to even play those kinds of games. I have mixed feelings about this. Sure, she shouldn't be on those types of games at all, since she's only 12, she could get a lot of trouble, if her parents finds out. Also, those condo games should not be made at all. There are kids in the website who get curious in what the game looks like. Drew Plays should not have the 12-year-old girl play in that game. Even when it's for over 18, Roblox should stay kid-friendly at all times. The next comment is from Sam Life, and he says he had just apologized for committing a crime. That's like murdering 12 people and then saying sorry to other people and hope for forgiveness. Yeah, that's exactly what I was trying to say earlier in this video. You should not forgive people for committing crimes, especially if they murder someone. Criminals should not be forgiven at all costs. Even if they apologize now, later, or in 10 years, I wouldn't forgive their ass no matter what. The last comment I will be reading is from Rudabert. And he or she says, the fact that I associated with this dude is absolutely disgusting. I honestly regret it. Illegal may I add, he needs to go to jail. At least you got rid of him, after you found out the truth about him. I'm glad you regret meeting him, especially after the disgusting shit he has done. He has done illegal shit to a 12-year-old girl, so that is a result of maybe 10 to 15 years in prison. Hopefully Dreplays gets the consequences he deserved and then he will never be on the internet again. Okay, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. This is Amanda Rose signing off.